Welcome back, Uriel Zariel here dark, with Dark Sorcery. Please like and subscribe, turn on your notification bell, leave a comment down below. You know, many people have discussed the clip off and our path and how that relates to us in our paths and how it unifies us in our path. And that's where we're kind of going today. I want to sit there and give you a perceptional way of looking at the clip off and knowing thyself and how to apply that into knowing thyself as a perception of thought and looking within. Because honestly, so many people look at the clip off as it's outwardly of themselves. And quite honestly, it, it's truly a way of looking within, again, to know thyself, a way, steps. I'm trying to think of a word. You might look at it in a way, another way. We've talked a lot about knowing thyself, meditation, how to flow. The clip off is just, just that. It's another way to reach these flowing states. This video is not going to be, because there's so many other videos out there and other occultists have done a great job, quite honestly, in getting people to these places, talking about each stage of the clip off. What I want you to realize is that the clip-off, honestly, is nothing more and nothing less a tool for looking within, a stepping off point, a guidepost to stepping within you into the internal, the infernal flow to know to know you but everything everything comes at a cost we've talked about this too and how that too is a perception and if you are truly going to be willing to lay everything on the line because honestly if you're here watching this once you start looking within you're going to have to surrender. And usually what you surrender to look within the clip off, the shell, the very meaning of clip off, the shells. I want you to look at something, again, a perception. And to give this visual effect, I want you to look an onion. It's very much in a perceptual view of what we're talking about. An onion is very much like us. It's a rooted vessel in the ground. It'll grow, providing it has nourishment to flow, providing if the roots are allowed to grow bloom. However, just like the clip off, it has shells. But does too, like the clip off, the onion has many layers. You too, as a person, have many layers. And I know we all as human beings, we all have layers. Just because you've gotten through the epidermis layer of your skin does not mean yet you've known yourself. It has just a layer. So I want to show you something. Again, a perception. It is a practice. That is why the clip off. Many people come to the left-hand path. That's why I don't like using the term left-hand path. 
I like saying leaving human per perceptions because that's exactly what the left hand path is. It's all about leaving the perceptions of everything we've been indoctrinated with through our entire lives behind and starting anew, afresh, by going within to be free, liberated, becoming kings in our new kingdom and set truly free, infernally free, internally. Do you understand how liberating and beautiful that is? But it requires work, daily work, and it is hard. That's why mo many, many, many people don't either see eye to eye or cannot even do this because they don't want to put in the work or they try it and they fail and they falter because they can't connect to it because well, quite honestly, I'll just gonna say it, they're fucking lazy. They want something quick. They want something fast. It doesn't work like that. With everything, it requires work. You have to dig within all the time to get to the gold. You're not gonna get rich by doing this. Maybe rich in gnosis, in peace within. But you know what? Just like this onion, as you continue to dig through the layers, and find yourself, it's gonna make you fucking cry. Those shells, as they come off, and the impurities as you discover and dive deep in finding who you are, to get to the pure sense of who you are and need to be, you're gonna fucking cry, it's gonna hurt, and it's okay. It is okay to be you, love you, be free in who you are. Just like a lotus is just like an onion too. A lotus is birthed in murky and shitty environments. But in the end it blooms to something beautiful. yourself free yourself take that time everything 
sense of perception. But still, as you dive deep, enjoy it. Don't be afraid of it because just like an onion, it'll make you cry. It's gonna taste not so great. It may even be a little sour or strong. Again, a perception. Or it might burn on your tongue. This is what it's like to dig into a layer. see it's not easy you have to do the work you have to but just like this onion the beauty of this onion as we are human beings as we are trying to dive deep and we're seeking to be free. And I, yes, cut this in half. What's amazing about this, if I went to go put, put this back in the ground and I gave love to it and watered it, life would come back to this and it would give birth to a complete new onion. Just like you. Don't give up. Yes, I know. We're all wounded. We're all shattered. We're all hurt. I know this. As a wounded combat veteran, I too have been wounded and hurt. Many times. It can be done work and effort this is our time to grow and to thrive not to go and hide my loved ones it is our time bloom Become a blooming infernal lotus. Bloom. Bloom. Dig deep inside of you. Know. Know who you are. For all those that have ears eyes to hear you see and you hear daily you can even look in our skies and you know what's going on stop being silent start digging spend that time start shedding before it's too late before it's too late I can't stress it enough to everything Yes, is a perception, but don't let the perception that you see become a deception. Yes, 
scales can become a deception. To many, we allow that. We take charge of your life. Peel away the layers. Begin to know. Take control of your life, your kingdom. You are a king and you are a queen if you are a lady in your own kingdom it is time to rule it is time to rule and thrive not hide no more it's almost time to sit at the table the question is going to do the work and peel back all the layers to find you and know thyself to be able to do that. I challenge you. Begin this quest. You won't be let down. It's extremely liberating. Quit allowing others to manipulate you and control you and you control thyself first love thyself rule thyself raise your standard I thank you for spending some time with your Rosario if you haven't already please like and subscribe to Dark Sorcery leave a comment down below turn on your notification bell and I hope this sheds a new light to your outlook on what the clip off could honestly be in changing your perceptions of looking at your outward, outward clip offic shells in your life to changing your reality to a better future. Uriel Zario, out and may you all bless the beasties.